Alrighty gamers, good evening and welcome to watching Exert Archives. What is Exert Archives you ask? It is a league style series of events spanning across three months and at the end the scoreboard leaders will be ground the champions. And now we're basically entering the second month of our events and uh, we're gonna be kicking it off. We're gonna be kicking off the month with uh, FD5 paddles. And as per usual, my name is Kyuke and I will be joined tonight once again by Ant, the mastermind behind Dawn of Revival and this series of events. Howdy ho. I'm, I'm so smart guys, trust me. Anyway, hey, um, do you have another, uh, an another uh, magic triple guilty gear weekend, don't you? Uh, you had, uh, Fasai yesterday and strive tomorrow? Technically, we would have had, but we didn't have enough uh, signups for oh, ACPR okay. this time around. Uh, yeah. But I, close. I, I didn't get a ping, yeah. Very close. Mm. Is that supposed to be like that? Especially with ACPR. It's uh, mm. sometimes uh, sometimes very hit and miss. Mm. But that's that's how it goes with the old, old games. Um, not quite as popular as as the newest, finest. Not not necessarily the finest, but the shiniest new product. <laughs> yeah, it's still still kicking for the most part, and that's really cool to see. Yeah. Anyway, now. So even today. even though we have only five matchups on the card at the moment, we had last minute signups. So in addition to these ones, we will also be running. I believe Avarice Kai versus Ara Soul, mm -hmm. as well as Lazy Jeff Soul versus Thundax Leo. Yes, so it's correct. Be seven matchups for tonight, and I think Toxic needed a little bit of stall. So yes, Toxic uh, needed some time. Uh, let's ask Squid and Stale if they're ready. Let me go ahead and ping them. I see Stale Devils offline on Discord right now. As always, the best mix-up when you're like, oh, okay, so I'm not the opening card. I can chill for a bit. And mm. then you get hit with the BAM mix-up. Yeah, with, with these sorts of uh, rotation sets, it's always a little... Um... Oh, right, Squid, well, he's not... Squid uh, said he's not around. I forgot, I totally forgot about that one. It's a little hard to keep track of everything. Um... Are they going to be sitting it out completely for tonight? Uh, yes, I think he's... he's... Uh, not not around entirely for today. All right. Um. So Stale's offline right now. Uh, I know Pinku wanted to uh, maybe play with someone. I'll I'll go ahead and announce the two of them if they would be okay with playing, and we'll skip uh, Stale for the time being. Um, moving on to Coco versus Pet, I suppose, if they're around. All right. Oh, that would be a pretty banger of a startup, uh, a first card. Man, Kukko versus Saipet. Saipet obviously uh, has been like top, um, pretty much. I think for the for the like last month has been making it consistently to like grand finals in a lot of tournaments, except that one. Yeah, that that one. That, that one, one where he lost to the Squid Guy in yeah. what was that? Loser semis, I think. He got fourth in uh, last month's uh, tournament. Okay, Coco's not available to play right now. 
<laughs> All right. I like the quick response. Um. <laughs> we'll, we'll move through the list. Hang on. Hey, no worries. We got, <laughs> we got matchups. Cause it says that it says they are ready to do if needed. To do to do. <laughs> so much for the last spot. You thought you were safe, fools. All right. Guilty gear. So this may be ready. However, Gigast is also. <laughs> Offline on Discord. <laughs> Avarice would be ready. So, uh, if Gigast isn't around. Oh, Gigast is typing, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, G. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Sentria, you ready to play? <laughs> that would be funny. Seven matchups and no one, no one ready to rock from the get go. <laughs> okay. Uh, Gigas says they need some time. Uh... Let me ask Avarice and Ara since Avarice uh, jumped in and said they're ready. Gotcha, gotcha. My god. <laughs> what a start to the evening. Now this is a this is definitely an experience. It's yeah. it's, it's uh I actually like this. I, I like when I like when ev everything hits the fan at the same time. It's 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 actually it's actually fun to sort of overcome these fun little obstacles. It's the mm -hmm. spice of life with with organizing events. All right. Aris is also here. Avarice is down. Alright, that is 50%. No, that's both of them. Oh! 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 <laughs> I think I've never seen Aras play before i think I, I like i said earlier I, I i think i'm supposed to know them but i can't remember <laughs> to have seen them play very often ever since uh ours is a uh a german player used to play bike and uh switched to soul a while ago i think that's that's probably the mix-up uh because i i can't remember a soul uh mm. by that name so i i'm pro i've probably played against their bike and before that mm. does sound a little more familiar. Good old Kai versus Sol. Yes. <sighs> it's actually a fun matchup. Especially, or, or I haven't played it that much from Soul's point of view, more more mm -hmm. from Kai's point of view. But it's a it's a very 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 classic for sure. Soul just wants to get in there. Kai, a little bit of zone. Like Kai is not necessarily even zoning. It's it's one of those matchups where you just have super strong buttons to sort mm -hmm. of check it's a little bit of area. Control. Yeah, space control basically. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. It's like Sol, what Soul has in pretty much every Guilty Gear game is definitely the rewards. But you do need to get in proper spacing and then score the mm. necessary hits to actually get that damage milked out. 
Usually, mm. it's gonna be some sort of a counter hit. Like, heavy buttons, BBs, uh, some sort of a, some sort of a big Hail Mary. Or then just have the corner and score a hit, go into dust loop. Or have 50 meter, that, that works too. You do yeah, have... Oh, we just started. Yeah, pretty much. All right, we have Aras in the lobby. We're starting with a match that's not even on the poster. Eh? <laughs> I swear, we're not making these up on the fly. <laughs> or, or are we? Um, I mean, not while the stream's running. Is it these five games? Um, the Squid Guy versus Stale Devil one is not happening because Squid uh, unexpectedly had to dip out, uh, and we have two additional, two additional sets uh, that are listed. When you type an exclamation mark, players, you'll see those. And uh, potentially the Squid Guy versus Stale match will be uh, changed to Pink Nirvana versus Stale. If Stale is okay with that. If not, then we'll have to bench Stale for the week. Yeah. We'll have a decent amount of time to see how it develops <laughs> along the evening. Gamers. My gamer? My ga <laughs> no. Yes. There are no gamers among the Enzo crowd. None of them play video games. I said it's not a real game. How did Avarice get in before me? You signed up? Wait. You signed up? If I haven't read your name. What? Wait, who are you? What? <laughs> JC Denton voice. Who are you? <laughs> oh, wait, wait, is it it's Gully? Gully? Oh. Wait, did you change your Twitch nick recently? Gully, aka uh, um, MK42 Hustler. Um, uh, you you must have not sent in the the form. You must have quit on the on the final page instead of actually sending it. I didn't get your sign up. I completely forgot you told me you signed up. Oh, fuck <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You can still sign up. You can still sign up. And uh, if if there's somebody else who wants to play, you can play. I'm fucking up hard today. Hey, I, I got home 10 minutes before the stream started. Give me, cut me some slack, please. <laughs> <laughs> How is it my fault if somebody doesn't fucking send in their form. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I wonder where Avarice is. wonder if they caught the uh, lobby join link earlier. I, I told them to check the pins. And it is pinned, so uh, I'm sure. <laughs> Golly got hit. We're <laughs> passing. No, no. Does that actually help? Doing um, stuff over Parsec? Uh, Pico's connection, uh, specifically, is really, really wonky in Exod, and uh, she tends to have uh, like six frame connections uh, in uh, with people who, in other games, there is no issue at all. So when I play with her, we we always Parsec, and it's pretty much the same as two frame delay. <gasps> and since I'm used to the delay, uh, uh, entirely. I've never played this game offline. 
uh, I'll be the one hosting, and then I experience no delay. I I just set it to uh, two frame latency because I drop my combos otherwise, and then we both have two frame delay, so it's fair. It's funky. Bye. It, so for so for, for Pinku it does help, but yeah. <laughs> Speaking of which, we might we might actually have a match. Hey yo. Have you guys heard of Guilty Gear? It's a good game. And this Alvarez. is a fun matchup. Avarice. Soul Kai. Heaven or hell. Duel. Duel. One. One. The Boy Scout go. mashup. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Although Soul is definitely not not as Boy Scout. Oh nice catches. Oh, there we go. Deep is out. There's multiple Leo. overheads. Nice the boy scout. Oh! Oh no. Alright, keeping Aras nice and tightly in place so far. Oh, oh wow. didn't, didn't believe in that. I would have actually nice. let the Great Server just rock there. Alright, crouching under the 5D. Oh, oh wow, Guilty Gear hitting from behind. <laughs> but now. <laughs> I love how anytime there's a whack reverse hitbox, it's immediately. The immediate response of every commentator is to just call Guilty Gear. Oh, that was so smart. 5D from Soul crouching under that. Jump in. But now Avery's. Oh, <laughs> very nice. Oh, the tail end! That should Going be it. If... Yes. Yes, that indeed. Aras doesn't drop. That that was that's pretty much how the matchup goes. You gotta like pick your spots as soul when you have an opportunity, explode, get the damage. Gotta play relatively patiently against Kai. Good presence of mind there from Avaris. Coming down with oh. FD. <laughs> Good old wake up grand wipe, huh? Oh, tried to no. catch anything there. Abos just sat down, believing in uh, the non-existence of Wild Throw. Oh, nice 2k to clip there. Now let's see if Ares wants to use any resources, uses the dead angle. But the burst is still available. Oh, oh Pinky, you don't want to, you don't want to know who goalie plays. <laughs> You're not going to believe this. Ooh, tried to go further, very slow over anti air is too heavy, but not fast enough for BB. Avaris spending the burst here. This should be pretty decent oh. for Aras. Why I see I throw my best friend. Get up. Oh, oh. <laughs> went oh. super wild. Even the conversion before that, the 2D into straight off DP was pretty wild. And Aras. Right from the get-go, choosing violence. I like that. Oh, tries to better DP there. Nothing coming. Gets uh -oh. hit anyway though. Yeah, good burst. That's that's a big starter for Kai. Well, I'm surprised that didn't actually hit. Still manages to keep the position. Late air dash hits home. Okay. And so Full combo. Moves. There you go. Into the ground. Now what? Tries to go for an empty low. Gets smashed out. First bar of YRCs has been neutralized, the second one, and now if Ares manages to get out of this unscathed, they do have a very massive uh, meter advantage here. But if we could only, if only we could use that meter, ooh, that's pretty good. Goes for a fairly burst safe route there, staying as far from that burst range as possible. Yeah, the burst is good. Yo, that was so low to the ground. Oh, no follow up. And as long as, yeah. There you go, yep. That was. an IV on the last one. That was, was a it? long ass game. <laughs> That's just the first one. Yeah. <laughs> they pushed it quite a bit. But I feel like this, this matchup probably tends to draw out quite a bit as long as both players like understand sort of not just how the matchup is played but the sort of 
I guess Sol can't just go out swinging wild all the time because yeah. it's so easy to run into Kai's stuff. Yeah, un un unless Sol kills himself or Kai <laughs> violently, uh, this this uh, matchup might as well last quite a bit. Yeah, I mean, it's it's always a possibility that the Kai player also chooses violence. But I feel like in that situation, the brawling doesn't really favor Kai at all. Oh. Okay. Gets away unscathed. Oh, that was oh. so sick! And actually gets sort of a punish there. Fishing for the counter hit on the 2D, no dice. Oh, but still gets it. Avaris wants to play this, but now very low on resources. Oh, there we go. Ah, uh, okay. Then he got quick punish on the miss 2D there. Okay, and there you go. Ooh! Nice. Manages to pick it up, and that's gonna be one third of your life already right from the get go. The jam players are fighting in China. I don't know what this is about. <laughs> Straight on the anti air. I like that. Aras is like actively trying to go under a lot of the stuff with 2D, mm -hmm. as you should with Sol. 2D is extremely low profile. Get the knockdown. What's it gonna be? Oh, interesting. I think Avarice was trying to maybe blitz there because they didn't input anything on Wake Up. Dead angle has been used. Oh, good interception. Perfect dash in there. Catches on the landing frames. Oh. He's out of the pit, though. Everest has been so good at sniffing out those command crab attempts. But now, Avery's completely out of meter. Uh, yeah. Trades with the DP. <laughs> I think if Avaris really had to go for some sort of a wild read there, because being at zero health and zero meter, mm. it's like, yeah, you just can't sit there anymore. Ooh, oh, that's big. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, okay. Yeah, you had to spend burst. You had to spend burst there. That would have been a fat chunk of damage. Almost got the dust loop. Did the command grab. We have Throtex. The mysterious, the fabled. Oh, Kaidi P, Kaidi P. Ooh, moves out of the JD hitbox. Into? What? Nothing. I think missed the the dash momentum jump D there to get corner combos. Nice anti air doesn't quite get the biggest conversion out of it. Again. Avoiding the fireball completely with that 2D. And as long as Avaris doesn't sort of check that when Aras is going under, like trying to intercept with like their 2D of their own or some other low profiling folk, that's gonna be pretty pretty decent value being able to avoid the fireball without going airborne. But here comes the Oki. Ooh, tries to backdash out, but no dies. Still doesn't get hit too bad again. Oh, yeah. The brave dash in there and go under. The soul for this man. The ultimate. Oh, okay. Takes the anti head. I don't even know how how much recovery uh, Vapor Frost has on the ground itself. It's quite a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, I figured since, you know, the uh, Volcanic Viper and, and Grand Viper, you pretty much always go for the, the crouching ground of punish. Ooh, oh, again! The dunk from Ops downtown. Ooh, interesting. Ops the wait. Now Avar is a lot of the meter spent here, but Ara's being put in a very... Oh, what? Whoa, <laughs> really? Okay. All right. Both we'll players, both players have been swinging super wild in some of these last ditch effort. Last ditch around situation. That XP again. Oh, 
Right in the corner. Ooh, but Avarice has been Ooh. missing some of those Oki opportunities. Ooh, unfortunate self cross. Switch the position once again. And the first to find the hit here is Aras. Now, no burst available on Avarice, so can go as hard as they can. RC, this oh. should be it. Oh, um, too close. Still gets it though. That works. A decent oh, amount of spaghetti on the floor, but. Aras has been pretty, pretty, pretty good at uh, transitioning into uh, into the next situation as as soon as the combo drop comes up. That's sort of like what super good players are usually known for. Even if they even if they drop something, they're they're just immediately ready to play the next situation. Yeah, quick adaptation and just knowing your options. Oh, that was so good. The commitment on the dash. This guy has two different angles on those fireballs and might might go for the heavy fireball in the air instead and sort of the fireball that reaches full screen very very vulnerable to dash throughs all right immediate burst let's keep average in the corner and let's see we go into the dust loops oh there we there, there it is the, the quick adaptation dropping the combo and immediately the reset oh there we go the tap list is good oh it extends into the heavy volcanic viper breaking kai's toes oh nice might have been thinking of the burst bait there however he still has the burst available but what the laser beam it's the target. But we need one good one. Ooh, the trick at the end. The the so-called evil dash. <laughs> whenever you have whenever you have a special move that moves you forward, combine that with YRC and you got yourself a sort of a ghetto gimmick mix-up. <laughs> Ooh, that's big. Too heavy starter. A very good you've one. It, you've seen it quite a bit lately with the uh, 6k YRC of all things from Kai. Uh, not in this matchup, though. Yeah, I I, I know Avarice loves that that one that, that tool quite a bit. Okay. Ooh, Ooh, we still... Ooh, brave challenge oh, again. again. The ghetto dash. No, Avarice is on an empty battery though. Ooh. Okay. Locks the revolver high and doesn't decide to do anything, tries to bait a DP there. Oh! Overhead is blocked. Good reaction. There's our clean conversion. Let's see if we can get the mix up now. Oh, oh my goodness! Oh, other side. Ah, oh, I didn't. Oh! oh my god. Oh, again, this, this, no. oh, it hits behind, it hits from behind. I wonder, I wonder since they were in the corner, that was probably uh. why the Grand Viper was able to hit the DP there. That's such a wacky interaction. interaction. Yeah, I was just better than me for the sole purpose of that he blocked an overhead, no other reason. And there's nothing <laughs> Nice, finds the air scoop and a big oh. hit. Oh, drops it though. There we go. A clean. <laughs> throw like two, 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 six feet. Passing oh. soul up a little too high from that anti air conversion. Mm. Nice. The late air dash meets Aras. Oh, the two S. Yeah, and Aras can't really yeah, easily justify the burst here. He just has to take it to the next round. Alright, it starts being that time when Avaris really has to turn on to the next gear if they want to fight for this set still. Oh, 
right? This time, able to be safe against the BB. Good interruption, but there we go. Okay, it's a nice combi. Um, oh, misses the micro dash there. Yep. Ah, uh, that's a no Piku. If you couldn't tell. Nice. Oh, still converting. I think Ares is like three out of three blocked overheads this set. Mm. Oh. Except that one weird cross up conversion. That was funky. Oh, nice, the 5k. Avers gave up so much space there. Almost put himself in the corner. And again, the Grand Viper from down below catches Avery's on the landing. Oh, oh there we go. <laughs> Not managing to quite pick it up though. Oh, that's big. Oh. Yo, so jumpy. Okay, tries to reset the sun thing. It's DP'd out though. <laughs> Once again. <laughs> Back into the corner. Oh, at this point, at this point, Aras can kind of afford to go for those super flashy plays mm. or even dangerous plays because they're sitting on a very comfy lead here. Yeah, the, the, the more you play your advantage, the further you get into your opponent's head, the more you can get away with. Oh, there you go. Daphne. Oh, almost had the bait. Pretty decent value out of that burst. Was able to get 100 meter out of Ares, so still a fighting chance here. Oh, but it's Ares doesn't take the burst right now, but the lower you go, the harder it will be to burst. Oh, empty on meter. Scrambling for any hit. Oh, God. That was so close. Oh. Oh. Tries to do something there. Gets beaten out. And that's Arrows taking it. 5-0. I like that. I like that option there. The air throw would have definitely been the right option there to catch the uh, the instant air dash jump heavy off that 5 heavy. But alas, not hitting the mark. And Arrows takes it home. All right. And we're going immediately into the next one. Uh, that being our first set of the, on the poster. Toxic versus Card Surfing Alien. This is uh, Jam versus Answer. Jam versus Answer. This is like. So my gut feeling tells me this is like not. Definitely not the best matchup for, uh, for Answer, right? Uh, you know. I've been talking about Answer versus Lightweights for a while. Um, it's not fun. <laughs> it's not too great. Um, especially versus Jam, a character who uh, moves really well but, uh, horizontally. It can be pretty hard to uh, um, push the advantage on, on moments where your opponent fails to capitalize because Jam is so good at capitalizing on, on any opening that Answer gives. A, a lot of a lot of answer play is uh, trying to uh, condition your opponent to stay a little more passive and then capitalizing on, on that passiveness by setting up resources and taking space. Um, Jam doesn't really do that a lot, and Jam players hella don't. <laughs> and also, when you kind of get in there in their face, answer usually relies on their like good air buttons against the opponent's air buttons, but Jam has such fast buttons at that yeah, particular Jam range where Answer would like to play. Very scary button. However, I think these two have played quite a bit. And um, I think Toxic still struggles with uh, defending against Answer, knowing what to do when. If, if he just went a little more ham and uh, was a little more dashes, I, I think he'd have a little more success versus answer. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I don't know how that worked out. Good job, bro. It's interesting how that that yep. does seem to be like the advice you usually give to like like the rookie level or the newer 
skill tier jams. Just go go wild, go ham. Your character yeah. can actually do a lot of wild stuff very efficiently. Yeah. God, that's getting one for the alien, you know? What else is there but going wild? See, you get it. But you also play Answer and Jam. Yeah, to some extent, you gotta abide by your character's strengths. Oh, not pushing the advantage too much on the mark down there. Okay. Oh, jam for a kill. Such a scary button. You can't even parry it with answer because it's a low. Oh! Okay, jumps out. Ooh, that was so ambiguous. Oh. Okay. Yep, pick up. That's a lightweight specific one. A very, very unsafe low option, but it Whoa. tends to be that that low follow up from the scroll tends to catch people quite a bit because it's 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 the it's the option you don't expect very often because it is so unsafe. Was successful parry. And here we go, CSA, choosing the burst. <laughs> Oh, there you go. That works. Going through both scrolls. Nice. It's gonna be super important for CSA to actually score those combos consistently. Oh, oh that was tight. Ah, oh, no, you're not supposed to extend the lightweights. That's unfortunate. And works the, out in the end, though. The momentum shift. Sort of making the anti-air there from Toxic Whiff. A CSA getting second one in a row. <laughs> oh, yep, there's a scroll slide. You can do a lot of things against it. It even loses to most XPs. It's <laughs> it's low weird. Being the, you know, he teleports down to the ground and does a low profile move, but it doesn't actually low profile. It loses to the anti as that you think it, it's supposed to be a call out for. Oh, nice. This time CSA was ready for the command dash. It's one of those things, kind of kind of works like bike and Suzuran. You just. It is very reactable, but you gotta be sort of waiting for it. You gotta be ready for it. And Jam mm. is one of those characters that sort of has option for doing a lot of stuff, so it might not be at the front of your mental stack, reading that command dash into a throw. This is this is triggering some primal uh, responses in Pigu's body, I think. <laughs> Ooh, she's moving. Here we go. Scores the low. Oh, no. wow. but just that, just oh, just like Jam's command dash, the teleport is kind of kind of the same as well. Very easy to react to, but if you're not looking for it, you might miss it. Yeah, it's, it's definitely go. not a, not a very consistent a throw setup, unless wire seed. But even the wire seed uh, leaves your opponent some time to react, and uh, I've gotten DP'd out of it more often than not. Obviously, on, on characters that, that have a good reversal like that. <laughs> and so is Axel's first action. Yes, whatever you say to me. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I think with the, with a jump H after the attack, he would have been able to pick up. Alright, cutting it short, getting the card. And that's a punish. Oh, almost. I can never tell if answer players are accidentally crabbing the scrolls or if, if they're doing a lot of 200 IQ mega brain reads. Well, you kind of you kind of need the scroll for a lot of things. Uh, in, in most situations, I think you, you can expect the scroll to be hit on purpose. Is that that is, that is that is the one thing that the answer player tunnel visions on? And See, he, he, he tried to super jump back up in the score. He missed it. 
This happens more often than, than accidental cleanse. Oh, wow! <laughs> yep, 5H moves you forward. Oh, the other side, once again, 2D finds the interruption. And chance what? for Toxic! Again, scoring, or cashing in on that respect there against the Command Dash. But here we go, left right. Gets the knockdown, needs one more! And Toxic. Uh, not quite. I'm, I'm surprised Toxic. Toxic? Really? That, 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 that was a pretty decent read there, holding the burst, because CSA was was baiting that burst really hard. Takes a, quite a bit of patience to be holding your, your burst there on your last hmm. bit of hit points. Ooh, good check there. And here we go. What's it gonna be? Oh, I thought that 6k would have gone into a throw. Okay. It's pretty nice. The dead angle giving a hard knockdown, but CSA getting. Oh, oh, yep. Yep. Gems parry actually works wonders against uh, most of the banks of shenanigans. Does the parry actually autocorrect if you sort of input it in the wrong direction quotations? Um, uh, it doesn't, no. But on, on, on things like this, where th there is no uh, funny cross-up uh, to be had, it's basically just a free reversal, and Ansel really, really struggles with those. A little too far there to make that conversion. Yo, <laughs> this. All right, backdash into a button. Doesn't quite get the setup that they were looking for. Toxic. Oh, that was unfortunate. Gets the throw out of it though. Oh. Keeping it short and simple, as burst safe as possible. Then the pressure, 25 used, and you can't keep blocking forever! Yep. And that yep. uh, 6 age cancelled in the scrolls that is actually punishable. But that's that's one of the one of the things that you just need to know and uh, about answer. When, whenever he sets a scroll during pressure, you could have punished. It's it's never true. It's never real. Yeah, it's it's one of those things that a lot of characters have like their sort of checking if you're sleeping or not and if you mm. if you fail to react yeah. your opponent gets a little bit of value yeah you really got to keep your eyes open against this character and that's csa taking it 5-0 over toxic so with that um i don't know when coco will be ready yes we can ask them um, Gigast also said they need some time. Not sure if they're ready. Uh, I think Centron and Looney are ready, so we can just pull those up right now. Okay. And, uh, oh, no, Gigast is here. Okay, Gigast is there already. Sweet. Let me just ping this real quick. I assume he's in chat, actually. So, Amelia Mirror, I actually... Yes, they're both here. If I had to guess, like, which one of these players is going to take it, I can't really tell. Hmm. Because in my head, they're, they're, like, both, like, like, sort of high level up there, but... I've been, I've been playing against uh, GG Hast more as of late. Mm -hmm. And they they are definitely as good as ever. We'll have to see where 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 Xis stands at the moment. So yeah, the reason I, I decided on this matchup was because for, for most other players, um 
fighting Melia seems like a little bit of punishment. The, the only player who, who was left without a matchup was Sail, and he's already fought both of these, <laughs> and he really hates it. So I felt like, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll give Stale another matchup for this week. The only other person uh, on the board was Pet, and uh, I think Pet's also fought both of these before. Uh, so I just felt like, you know, what? I've never seen this mirror. I assume they don't like this mirror. We'll see how this works out. Emilia really do be one of those characters that even if you have a like an advantageous matchup against, it still feels rough to play. Yeah. Just because of the nature of the character. Oh. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to look at the name times more from the not this game though. Is it? This is the pink Milia. Yes. GG has the blue one. And gets hit by the overhead. Yeah, the classic the second. Second one being overhead. Hits twice. You can, of course, cancel after the first hit if you wish to. For example, to hair car. So you <laughs> kind of have like a ghetto mix up ish. Not really, but. See, Goldie's not even playing. He's hitting this. Ooh, that burst ended up being super good now. Wow, the H just hit super late there. This is Pin, completely off screen, and gets hit in the corner. Oh, another one. One thing going for Xyz is... Oh, <laughs> the... The catches. One thing going for Xyz is that they have all the resources other than the Pin. Oh, yeah. doesn't need it. Uh, in this mirror, the first hit is gonna be super crucial. Milia being the poster girl of Guilty Gear in terms of putting on the blender. Yup, Miss Oki. Oh, the OG herself. Ooh, missed with the pin. And we're still going, that little bit of risk, giving some very well appreciated extra damage for the for the combo. Ah, uh, delayed hit. There you go. Oh, Ooh, nice, the IB there. Had both bursts. Have been used again. This full stick of butter, and I think this pin is still off screen. <laughs> both taking a both taking a short break to pick up the pins again. Gentlemen's agreement. All right, you pick yours. I'll pick mine. Milia players will will pay in having to fight Amelia with a pin in order to gain a pin for themselves. Oh, that was kind of cool. I, I wonder if. If GG has was able to pick up that pink because of that YRC there. Oh. Okay, this is really scaled. Okay. It's the knockdown this way. Oh. There we go. Very, very moves. safe place from this. Outplays both the burst and the de dead angle. I mean, obviously, at that spacing, GG has really couldn't hit the burst, but tried to go for the dead angle. Obviously, if you if you want to go for a super safe play like that, you're usually forfeiting at least one of your mix-ups to oh. wait for your your disc to sort of gel them in place for that one one safe to do mix-up. Who nice. Good presence of mind. Managed to break the thick throw or the throw. Okay. Oh, unclean. It's interrupted. Get angle out. 5D, other uh, should kill. Oh no! Unless reset. It was all it was all an elaborate reset. Straight into the close clash. And 5D has been working pretty well for this so so far. It's a it's sort of like a very safe frame trap tool. Rather than it, it's kind of like greed sever. It's sort of. Not really a, not really an overhead, but it's so, sort of fulfills a different purpose. 
Oh. Alright, set it up. Nice, stands up to block. Bad Moon, obviously. That one. Infamous overhead you can't react to. Blocks. Oh, nice and catches That's on the good. way up. Yep, that rising Millia JP. Such a good air to air option. Millia players love to use it. Okay. And not, not, not the only one even that Millia ha has. No, there's also the massive JD, the massive jump H. Not to speak of the jump K as well. Four frame startup. Right, you're right. I forgot, I was, I was like looking through the others in my mind. But JS is like the only one that's not super like outstanding, I guess. But that's also only compared to the others. Oh, it's not gonna hit. Oh, Ooh, unless. Right. Okay. I was like, it's not gonna hit on the way out. How about? Yeah, okay. Nice. Yeah, she Again. Game three. Going airborne with that button. The good old. Tukara IK. <laughs> Yeah, honestly, I think it's easier easier to anti Emilia. Like, oh, that must have been a miss input. If Emilia has already gone airborne, it's 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 kind of difficult to contest her because you have the pin to sort of nullify all the uh, anti airs on the ground. So you would much rather like maybe air throw or air to air her before she gets her sort of jump arc going. That angle. Really quick, um, Stale seems unresponsive. Uh, Pinku and, and uh, Goli have been yelling at me in chat. Uh, why not have them play in? I think they're both fine with it. It should be good. Uh, you, you don't need to sign up now. That's fine, we can put you on the list this way. Ooh, but last hit. Both players have the juice of oh, the counter hit of the six heavy. Gets Xiz the conversion into air car. Yeah, you'll have to see that both melee players going airborne with their best air buttons. Might as well defend your air space while you're at it. Oh, and again, the 5D is good. Goes into the corner, pick up the pin. The burst really not getting GG has out of the tricky situation here. Here we go, coast to coast. Yeah, that's a pretty decent spot. The burst again. Oh, JP yet again. Oh, drops it though. Good blocks. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> The no, overhead. You get to take the JP. And there we go. I love how both players really do know that the overhead is probably gonna be the layer one mix up. Both mm. have been standing up very, very actively for Mark those overheads. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, wow. Just round start double roll. All right, the hair car catching us a frame trap. The burst avoiding the corner. Oki situation gets the low. Low into the knockdown. Yep. Yeah, kind of has to spend the meter here because uh, this didn't have their pin with them. The combos mm. in the newest version sort of require the pin for the most part, unless. You have your 50 meter to spend. Yeah, I think that one needs to hit at a really specific height in order to knock down properly. Oh, oh. Oh, uh, uh. Yep, JK. And it's now they're moving around, holy. Okay, full bar. That's it. Uh, really scaled though. Okay, oh, burst out. Burst. Uh, I'm not sure about that burst. GG has, did have full, full stick of butter to play, but only one hit point left. Now we'll have to go into this last round without a burst. This is setting up the Oki. Alright, switching positions. And finds the good hit. The 2D. Go knockdown. Again. 
Into the corner, yup. Yeah, acknowledging that Ziss has that 50 meter available, so dead angle is an option. Nope, there it is. Oh, nice! <laughs> so many throws. Right? Yep. 6H1 into her car. Oh, and the setup. Here we go. Ooh, that, that might actually be a kill. Do we have problem those combos? And it does, yeah. Yeah, even if Gigi has bursts here, I think the Rose is still gonna be scoring the last hits for you, so there was probably no way out of that anymore. Ooh, and the roll going under. The blocks. Lost checker. In the forest, okay. Okay. Brave 5 Heavy, Milia has a really fast one. I think, is that like 5 frames? No, it's something like 6 frames, I think. Alright, gets it. Oh, was that a bit simple? Picks up the pin as well. Oh, spaghetti all over the floor. <laughs> Sis manages to get the knockdown. Here we go. Overhead, blocked. Oh, but the second, the low, again, the six heavy into the hair car cancel. Yeah. Uh, I just looked it up. Milia's 4H is uh, six frames. Yeah, that's such a that's such a nice nice button to have. Have a have a really fast, like high reaching button to sort of go for your um for your throw whiffs. Oh no. In for this, still on the ground. Dashing now picked around. up. What? <laughs> what are what you joking? <laughs> what even? Overhead. Corner combo. There you go. Melia 5B delivers once again. <laughs> it's such a such a fucking Melia thing. Oh. One hit garden. Yeah, no, there's a pickup as well. It's it's so cool when you manage to hit confirm like really weird 5 Ps for Milia. Mm. Oh, can't hit close S. Insta drop YFC. Okay, just fighting his way back. Dead angle into the corner. Ah, uh, Gigi has tried the 5D as well, but Ziz is so ready to react to that. Oh, and that's that. Okay, you guys taking the second game. Still alive. Yeah, that's true. It's not that uncommon either. And that that's a that's a pretty decent testament to how how amazing that button is. When you look at the hitbox, you wouldn't think that's like the the best hitbox in the world, but I mean Hitbox magic. A old testament in my exit. <gasps> Pog? Anyway. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Where's the next exit patch? A O. Skull wire C. <laughs> oh, nice! Gets the pickup still. Here we go into the low. It's a very decent starter. That hair car. Yo, that oh. was completely mixage. Wow. I mean, that's basically what a, Melia, a successful Melia round looks like when the opponent doesn't manage to guess your high lows properly. He blocks the overhead, jumps out of the throw attempt. Oh, that was so smart! And hard faces as well! Rich Gigi has like an open book. This is dangerous. Xist is sitting on set point here. The dead angle used. Oh my goodness, again, as a frame trap! Catches some of the yeah, buttons. Now potentially one mix up away. Yep. Oh uh, nope. Okay, another one. Ooh, this is pin is on the ground here. Plus frames of the flash taker. No anti air either. Oh, that's a counter hit. That kind of hit. This squire C. Oh, but now this. 
The guest is sitting here without a pin. Oh my god, all the meter oh. used. Has to eat it, and that's it. Man, there were so many snipe attempts that round, but... Yeah. In the end, it ends up being this who takes the set. Five to two. It was really back and forth, and a lot of the, a lot of the, a lot of the rounds were pretty even as well, so... Yeah, that could definitely... Could definitely go either way on a on a different day. Hmm. It's called Rev Zero. I mean, true, true. God, if Adapt ever does that, if Adapt ever puts Testament Rev Zero, uh, I don't even know what I'd do. I can't even put a put a follow up to that. Anyway, um, QK, do you play Monster to Rise? I think you do, right? Yes, I do, in fact. You do, you do, in fact. Sort of on a, on a break, though, because of, you know, obvious reasons, Elden Ring. Really looking forward to the new expansion, though. All right, we got Lunimar in the house. Yeah, I was I was going to call uh, uh, on Kuko if they're ready yet because I know Pet likes to play a little earlier in the evening and not too late. Uh, but I, I guess we'll have Looney vs. Sentient first. Yep, there they are. Okay. Speaking of going wild, we have. Centrion, a soul player that is definitely known for going extremely wild yep. against Burning Bright. The uh, Queen Silverback character herself, Jan. Yep. Oh, Rust of Six Eight. Okay. The name Jam's exit theme. Now, what do we see? Surprisingly, uh, um, calm neutral for now. Oh, never mind. Ooh, just you wait. <laughs> as soon as they have meter, the probability of wild stuff coming out imminent. Okay. I like that. I, I think using the command dash is sort of a sort of a burst bait there. Mm. The sentry are not biting. Oh. Ooh, gets a counter hit, but drink to yeah, the wrong the direction. Momentum. Yeah, with the dash momentum out, out of the corner, uh, too far away to pick up off of it. Oh, wow, that was such a dangerous card. Charge, straight back in there. What? Oh, man. what? Wait. Really? Yo, what oh. is this? <laughs> well, there, there, there is a reason why I picked this matchup. I feel like Looney would be able to to match uh, Centrion's temperature quite well. Yo, that escalated so quickly. A very clean <laughs> air throw there. Into. Big throw, and here we go. Towards the corner. Yo, that was a clean frame trap. Takes it easy. I like that. I like that a lot. The D-loop's not necessarily the easiest on lightweight characters, so... Oh. Yo, that oh. was a cross up. Oh, missing the air throw. Just barely there. Trying to catch that. All right. Oof. Oh, and Sentry was pretty much sure that Lunimar was, had that burst queued up. The BB just sits there for like half a second, patiently waiting for the burst. And first they did. Right, looking for that big hit. There we go. Dash in. 2D. But doesn't manage to capitalize on that. On the other hand, Centrion taking Lunimar to the corner. We got some meter to defend with. Nice. Moving out. Back and forth. Air throw attempts from Centrion. Oh, yep. Big gut punch. You want to burst that. Yo, that was clean with punish. I think attempted the... Instant air dash cross up DP there. Wow, clean hit. 
No. No clean hit. <laughs> That's oh. sort of like a. I love that the dragon kick sort of like a. Ghetto instant air dash to switch sides. Ooh, that's oh. gonna get beaten by Is the it? flames. Yep, yep, yep. And oh, not quite. Oh, oh my god. Last hit point. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, that's actually no. Lunimar chops it. That was oh, oh. <laughs> the closest. Pasta carbonara all oh, over the, the carpet, but the primest of lasagna. Oh my lord. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, this is good. I like this. I think I might have... No, 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 that that was... Wait, that was the first game? Holy. Yes. They, they took it all the way to the end. How can... How can the... How can the game take so long when it's this wild? Man. Well, it went to round three last hit. Oh, just run up 6 feet, okay. Oh, right. Ooh, that's unfortunate. A gun flame is a is a pretty decent starter. Oh, that works. <laughs> the, the Wait. I DDP so active. Deep in through the parry. I guess the parry was already uh, done with the active frames there, huh? Wow. All right. Nice whiff punish, but unfortunately, Jam kinda has to be pretty close to convert out of those buttons. That's sort of the struggle for both of these characters. You need to be either close to mid-range or have the meter. Or alternatively have the counter hits to be able to go into something big. Speaking of big, here's the corner, Lunimar. Oh, that's a bait. An IV as well. Just for the sake of it, that's fair. Beautiful. Wait, game two for Centrion. Clean hit confirmed there on the lightweight character. Taking a short breather. Five seconds, ten seconds. <clears throat> Take all the time you can get. It is now one one, one apiece. Oh. <laughs> It's like the, the couple of initial hits deal so much damage for both of these characters. Yeah. Especially when you get the big counter hit specials. Oh, here we go. Gets the juggle. Oh, okay. Takes a knockdown. What? What? Oh, the hitbox still still jails the DP. One more touch. There you and go. And again, oh my goodness. I mean, Jam's puffball, if you look at the hitbox in a hitbox viewer, that might as well be a advancing DP. Mm. <laughs> Just considering how disjointed it is. Alright, able to block in time against the BB. Gold burst is on the table, however, how are we gonna use that? Oh, that's uh -oh. how we're feeling like! Okay, it was about time. It's been two games already. Yes, yes. Okay, pass out. Clean the activation. Oh, the two, two P works, or is that two S? I think it was two S. I'm not sure. Okay. Ah, this time not able to stand up in time. The riot stamp when your back is against the corner is such a fast overhead. Yo! The fundamentals. Dash in 5k to catch fuzzy jumps from your opponent. The usage of 5k for Sol is actually like... It is very, very like fundamental kind of thing, but using that 5k properly to catch... Uh, Especially the fuzzy jump attempts from your opponent. Such an important tool for Sol. Ooh, into, hello. Oh, tick throw. Choosing to use the card for the heart knockdown. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. That's... Okay, Sentryon made a slight misinput there, I guess. 
Uh, it's gonna pay for it. Now one touch away from Looney taking game three. I don't know what that was about. Oh, okay. Never mind. In a way, that was projectile YFC, wasn't it? That, that, you know, the fact that, fact that uh, Centrion had to in that very dangerous situation to deactivate the IK, that goes to show how, how very important meter is in Guilty Gear. I mean, he was going to take a full punish as a result, but that was probably the right call in yeah. if, if you if you were playing to win, because you absolutely need that meter bar back. Ooh, that's a very good trade for Lunimar. Not quite able to pick it up, though. <laughs> the JP clash with the puff puff. All right, keep them in the corner. Bates the DP. Ooh, that's... Ah. The puff puff actually far. hits high enough to catch the um, DP and counter hit recovery still. That's interesting. All right, hold this. Yeah, I oh. like that. Get the IBs on the way out. That was actually the, the most safe way for for Sentry on the defend against that super. Use FD, push it away, and then IB the last hits. Oh, I think oh. that... Yeah, baby, yep. again. Uh, oh, what was that about? Near miss oh. on the air throw. Luckily... Oh my god! Okay. <laughs> the slowdown frames of the R RC gave Sentry on the sight, beyond sight, and was able to sli snipe Lunimar out of the sky. Ooh, big six heavy though. Yeah. Get out of there. Oh. Barely able to recover in time, so special moves don't have a lot of recovery to speak of. Oh, gets the pick up still. Into hot knockdown. Oh. <laughs> a beautiful pick up out of the counter hit DP. Oh, sure, nice. So far away. Super aware of how Lee is going to try to get out of the corner. Right, the burst has been oh, used. No. <laughs> oh no. In a way, that was kind of okay for Centrion, because Lunimar didn't get an opportunity to mix up there. Thank you, Ryujin. Uh, Chasing. One more hit. Oh, oh no. What? What even? Swinging wild. Oh. Catches the back dash, immediate burst from Centrion, and, and that cross up. Well, I crossed, yeah, well. I mean, we could talk about the amazing air buttons that Sol has, jump B, jump heavy, but Jam has some really sick buttons as well. Jam jump H is such a, such a notorious button for just hitting you anyway. Oh, gets nice. the juggle off. Oh, not quite. Uh, it's yep. still cash, because of course. Hitbox massive. Doesn't deal too much damage, but it just catches anyway, I guess. And Ooh. yet again. <laughs> yeah, Lunimar has been extremely active after that burst. Take out of that burst, instant air dash or air dash forward, use the YRC. Mm. Unless you're ready to sort of, unless you're hard reading that and ready with your air throw or anti-air of some kind. You're, it, it, it's it's very hard to contest, even if you were the one who was bur bursting there. Oh, nice. SDP works wonders. Gets a little bit of real estate for their troubles. Oh, I think Sentry was trying to throw there, but didn't quite managed to get the frame spread. And the DP is good. Oh. I can DP too. But the same same bait, Centrion has been very precise with that one. Nice with punish on the buff both. Doesn't really capitalize on it uh, for a punish, though, unfortunately. Oh, he just sets up a, a gunflame there. I, I'm not sure what that is about. He could he could just take the, the Grand Viper for the carry in the knockdown. Oh no! <laughs> no. <laughs> I'll fucking do it again! I, I like that he reacted to the flash and immediately did it again. Oh, oh okay. like a reset. Dropping two ADP is a setup. It's real. Trust me. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <Yo. laughs> Footsies? 
Uh oh. Oh yeah, that's super punishable. That was, that was a missing point. Uh, it is there. Oh. Oh. Oh, the <laughs> burst state sentience going right at it. Oh. Okay. <laughs> but. Yeah, behind. yeah, yeah. Okay, catches it this time. Okay, that's okay. Ooh. Did so much there that split second. Whoa, that was so smart! Yeah, that's goalie. Corner. MK42 hustler. Oh, Centrion! Missing their immediate there! But at the same time, Looney Marnat. You wait, how? Powering through! Ah, oh, does it get to punish? Centrion somehow missing their first. So many things happening! <laughs> And somehow Centrion coming out of that madness exchange as victorious. <laughs> Alright, the chase is on still. Lunimar on three, Centrion on two. Yeah, going airborne with that jump heavy. Defending your oh, air space. A little ambitious there to burst. I guess Looney really wanted to get out and keep playing the video game. You don't get to play the video game. You get to block in the corner. Oh. Back into it. <laughs> wow! <laughs> the gunflame has such a weird dead zone. Ooh, almost a perfect catch there with the 5k. Deep dash 5k, very good at catching jump outs. Alright, we just added there. Good trade for a sentry on. Here we go. Oh, that's big. And has all time in the world to pick that up. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Soul JP. Used in the same fashion you use Milia's. Ah, oh, but the flames are there. Not a clean conversion, but this one is! Here we go. Keep it simple, keep it safe. Was probably reading the reversal super once again, but this time Lunimar says, See, I've seen this situation before. This time, I'm actually not gonna hit it. <laughs> RC on the track and kick, force the pressure, jump 2k. <laughs> That natural response of a gem player to be in neutral for one second, look at their stocks, see a huge and just press it. Wow, did I? I think I saw startup of Dragon install there from Centrion during that super flash. There we go. Oh, I didn't see. oh he's, he's going for it. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Away. I think with a little bit of uh, bar that, uh, that Lunimar had left, if they actually block that, they're potentially going to be chipped out completely. Alright, three apiece. Oh my god. Oh, oh gets it. Gets it to me afterwards. No, nope. uh, you don't get to punish gold bursts. Not with the strike. Oh, sentry on with a very good burst bait once again. It's a pretty, pretty precise sense for when Lunimar wants to burst in this set. <laughs> oh, lots of buttons, but unfortunately Centrion staying vigilant, staying out of that range. Whoa. Oh. Okay. Oh, nice, gets the, yep, gets the dash, uh, JD. Beautiful. So All right, good interruption. Don't let Centrion have a free throw. Oh, that's going nowhere. Well, luckily, not punished there. Looney seems a little too trigger happy on those supers. It's not really gaining him too much for now. Yes, yeah, especially since Centrion has been keeping an eye on that super bar. Pretty much baiting on every single Oki that Lunimar has that 50 available. 
All right, and I think for the first time in this set, Centrion actually grasping the lead. Yes. Oh, how the momentum shifts. Oh. Ooh, nice. That's actually a very good response, the 2D there against Jam's command dash. And again, Centrion. I think one of the one of the prime reasons why Centrion has been able to swing this momentum so well, he's been reading almost every single burst for the past couple of minutes. Oh. Oh, yep. That was a close ass. I wonder if that was a missing 50p. But the DP would have lost to this anyway. Oh, that was very ambitious. Oh, the 5P is active. Yep. But a guaranteed punish. Ah, oh, misses the dash. Oh, and misses something else there. Doesn't matter though. It's super brave to try to press buttons against Sol, who's already Dragon installed. And now, just like that, Sentry on. Oh, he gets it again. Beautiful. Okay, for combo. Centrion is on set point here. A little too far to convert that 5k. Oh no, still tried to challenge. Lunimar, very much in trouble. Has burst, but has nothing else to work with. That's super hard bait. We still have a chance. Oh, is that gonna combo? Yo! Centrion decided to wait there! I can't believe it. This is this is a big punish though. And this is not in Yeah. Not in Hellfire. Oh. So normal duration. Oh. Where are we hitting? Gets the clean hit. That's some OP, I think. I'm not even sure. Oh my goodness. So close. Going Whoa. under. Jump D. And completing on the point. Looney's not having any of it though. Somehow still staying alive. But needs another one. To even it out. The riot stamp, full screen. Works once again as an initial gambit. Here we go. You're going to the corner now. Here comes Centrion. He doesn't quite manage to get that air throw. Oh, ah, that same situation has been occurring so often. Lunimar has been trying to get the challenge. Is this the end? Last burst available. What's it gonna be? Are you gonna take it again, Centrion? Oh, and there it is. That flash conversion. Doesn't spend the burst there. Would have been a little too uh, predictable. Yeah, honestly, that, that was such a fast conversion as well. I think Centrion might have just been dialing the air mm. button into the quick revolver, hoping that, sort of, sort of saying, all right, if this hits, you're not gonna be able to react on time to burst. Yeah, we'll see. Good stuff. GG's. That was cool. Yeah, nice run back there from Centrion. That was a very strong start for Lunimar. All right. So now, um, yeah, for the final set that is listed on the poster, we have Kuka versus Psychedelic Pet. All right, Kuka has really their work cut out for them. As strong as a player as they are, it is extremely <laughs> difficult to challenge that man sitting on yeah. the cabinet at the moment. Psychedelic pet. He's been going through most of the participants. And uh, I, I forgot. I, I think he lost to Niffy in, in winners in the tournament and then to, and yeah. then to Squid Guy and losers. Those are the only people who have his name on their list uh him and kitty haven't played yet uh, surprisingly that, that would be would be another contender to definitely be able to take it um apart from those yeah it's it's really a, a rough call for anyone to really take this man's throne and he is leading in in points right now we look at the uh little graphic that's in the announcements channel i don't know if you have it on stream probably not uh pet is still one point uh ahead of squid guy um really showing that the uh participating in in all of these events 
plays a very big factor, not just doing well in one or two. Completely disregarding that Kitty had only participated in one and his third, because he won the tournament for losers and had a ton of matches to play. One thing going for Kukko here is that Kukko is very much a fundamentals player, and I think mm -hmm. strong. If, if you want to beat a strong top level player, you're not going to beat them with gimmicks. You have to bring yeah. the solid, solid stuff, basically. Already starting the very strong combo, forcing Psychedelic Bet to fire that burst. Yep. It's getting rolling pretty well. And the momentum's kind of shifting in pet. Wow! Gets a conversion off of that trade. Ooh. Oh, Ivy on the jump in, and there you go. Has to RC. safe jump, yep. Oh, ooh, that was so smart! Immediate YRC on that touch on the armor recognizes the situation. Backdash and Buster as a guaranteed punish, I, I think. Oh, the classic with a button. Go for the Buster. Here we go. Psychedelic Beth oh. with the reads. Catches the jump out. Double. Bam! So much meter build on that double. And this is bad. This is bad for Kukko. Oh. The sort of options that okay. And Kukko is out somehow! The power of Totsugeki, I guess. Oh god. Oh no. Oh. Mm, a little bit of a drop there. there. I don't know what that was about. Might have also been a, a misinput. Have a full break there. Yeah. Great presence of mind there. Opting to go for the jump PP after seeing the touch on the armor. Yo! Pet with the massive throw range of Potemkin. Oh, Kukko can't afford the trade anymore. This is tricky. Ah, uh, there you go. Well placed anti air. Game one goes to Pet. But listen, that was that was still a lot of super good hits for Kukko. Basically mm. saying, yeah, I can fight you, I can fight you. If you're, if there's a single lapse in your concentration, I can definitely take advantage of that. God, Ooh. the hammer full breaks all over the place. Ouch. The dolphin challenges once again. Ooh, again, so smart. Backdash and catch with the buster. Oh. Beth has been playing that option select so much. Sort of fire the fire the up crab, queue up the YRC. If they don't jump, you sort of have the advantage still if they respect it. Fortunate drop here from Kukko. And this is looking pretty grim. Oh god. Oh. I could already smell the buster there on that anti gun. Okay. Yes, yeah, smartly. Crouching under, waiting for Kukko to land, and get the throw on the landing. Who's left on next? Uh, after this, it's you and Jeff, as well as Pinku Gully. That should be all. Ooh, this time, the super jump manages to take Kukko out of the sticky situation. Self-cornering, unfortunately. This is dangerous. One touch from Psychedelic Pet. Could smell. And this round. He's holding steady. He's defending. Uh -huh. He's whiffing. He's hitting. They played so much footsies there. And then the hit goes to Pet. OTG is not gonna kill. Get some more set play up, uh, opportunity. Okay. Make combos. Make combos. Knocks down. Doesn't get Oki off of it. Oh god! Pet not exactly quick enough to get the slide head. It probably was too close actually. Oh nice, that's that's exactly what you wanna do. When you take out the beach ball, you wanna make sure that the Potemkin player doesn't get a free flick. So you sort of have to defend your ball. Yeah, those kind of slow traveling projectiles that just linger there for Pet to uh Potemkin to, to catch whenever he likes. God there's... You really gotta pay attention with those. It's the same as Venom. <laughs> Finally, finds the frame trap. And Kukko. Not a counter hit, so can get a big conversion out of that for Pot Potemkin. Now Dolphin catches on the oh. way out. Flick the child. 
Hey, she's of age. I don't know about that. Yeah, some some people may say. Ooh, the tech timing there works out for Kuka. Oh. Yeah, like the toes. Perfectly burst save. Yeah, after that there was there was basically no way out. Even after that RC that until the first hit or until the next hit, you're gonna be locked out of your RC. Second one for Saipet. Oh. Nice. Using FD very smartly, pushing Pet away. Empty 2P. Pet also immediately with the counter response. If you think your opponent is gonna FD, throw them. Oh my god. The Dolphin interruption seems like fairly oh. decent. Back after oh. flick. Oh, it doesn't get too much out of it though. Gets hit anyway. Oh, wow. They shook hands for a second. Both well, players landing a couple of stray hits. Oh. The flake is good. Now the corner pressure. Uh oh. Again, a really good yep. super jump out for Kukko. But straight in there. Yeah, look at that. Pet is keeping the airspace completely clean. You could argue that was okay for Kukko getting out of there, but yeah. Already so low on health. I mean, I think five times out of five, I will take that air throw out of the corner, but man, oh man. The consistency of Psychedelic Pet is scary. Oh. Oh, that's so perfect. That's the way you punish the cheeks. Basically, trying to challenge them, very difficult. With punishing, that's the way to do it. Ah, the 2D, too low profile there. Kukko misses with their instant air dash. And again, okay. we're here. <laughs> Another crash. Okay, I with a 5H. Yeah, that was a big counter here. Pet this time opting to burst it. Oh. Okay. Ooh, I think that might be it, because Pet has 50 meter. Oh, yep. Doesn't even need it. But once again, that round was basically one hit away from being Kukkos as well. It's just the crazy, crazy championship oh. times. When you need to la staying, get that last hit. Pet is so... Staying right outside of uh, Temkin's 5H range there. Uh, and IAD as soon as he uh, uh, flinches in any direction. Barely being able to backdash out of that flick. Oh. Okay. Yep. Oh, that delay was so tricky. Oh, that's oh. me. You don't get to jump. You do not get to jump. Stay on the ground. Really Go close back killing. Down. Okay. Oh. Okay. A little too cheeky there on the offense. Okay. Oh, man. Is Pet actually going to turn this around? No. There we go. Good punish. Oh, quiet. All right, once again, one round away from opening it up as far as score goes. Ooh. And like getting a clean conversion there, pet. Oh, okay. Oh, very nice. Small one, but we'll take those. Yep. You're not supposed to do that. Oh, I don't know what that was about. Ooh, tried to double it up. Nice, jumps over the button, gets a punish. Pet has to burst there. Okay, completely locked in the corner now. What do you do? You burst out. It somehow works, but you don't get to claim this airspace as yours. 
Next hit is gonna be crucial. Oh, that's it! Kukko has the meter as well. Perfect! The classic five heavy from May, the Futsi button, the god delivers and gets Kukko on the board. Not free. Definitely not free. And that's big. Getting getting even one win against Psychedelic Bet is that is something else. That sort of puts you on on the on the world map in 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 a certain certain way. Okay. Oh, that was for YRC. Full 6k loop. That's gonna oh it almost killed. Yeah, Pet starting out this round with a vengeance. And one more touch. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what? That is that is such a beautiful tool. I'm surprised that more Potemkin players don't use that. The sort of Pet's used to it for the IK setups. <laughs> oh, that's so much damage. The 6 H starter. Exact mirror start that Psyfet had during the last round. That's gonna kill. Wow. Yeah, definitely not besting that one. You just give them the round and move on. Yeah, definitely the character who also has the damage. If you get the right hits. Generally, May big hits are the air counter hits. Mm -hmm. But I mean, sometimes... Even like f five heavy, depending on how you hit them, can convert into some pretty decent stuff, especially in the corner. Ooh, straight into the buster. Looking dangerous. Oh, it's 6k. Yep, a little too high there for, for more loops. Ooh! Oh, the backdash, of course. In the 6k loops. It's just super scaled. Okay, and it drops. Oh, but drops it! Rare footage of. Psybet dropping big combos. Oh, <laughs> you don't get to be that greedy. Hey, sometimes, sometimes you gotta keep them real, keep their feet on the ground, saying, "You better meet me, or I'm gonna buster you and wake up." Oh. <laughs> First has been used. Oh my oh bet. Bet why are you so good? The perfect what? reset! Alright, we have a small chance here. Hook also has the 50 meter, but my god are they low on health. At this point you might as well just stall for time to get your burst back. Right. Oh. It's definitely in Kuko's best interests to live as long as possible. If Kuko somehow okay. manages to get the burst out of Saibet, that would be good too. Nope. Yeah. We're moving on. Round two. And now this is set point for pet. Oh, <laughs> oh I just ran into that. And now we're in the corner. Nice escape. Alright. Try to take chap with that too heavy but pet knows better. Okay, gets around the slide head. Air IV. Yeah, good burst. But as soon as Pet got that burst out, oh my back God. in there. <gasps> Pet just chesting through it all. A lot of neutral trades, but generally, if you trade with Potemkin, <laughs> Potemkin is gonna be the one coming out of those trades victorious! Oh my God! <laughs> You can that see it. That was so scary in the end. He he would have IK'd of that as well if he yeah, yeah, had the yeah, meter. For sure, for sure. But even even without the IK, that's that's just so 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 scary. The 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 uh, I always forget the name of that move. Heat the heat. Mm -hmm. Cue up the YRC. It's kind of like kind of like the throw PRC, or the like the old throw. Uh, PRC option selects that you had both in Strive back in the day, as well as in um, as well as in Exert at one point. All right. But yeah, not too not too shabby being able to take one 
round off Saipet, the leader yeah, was... of the league so far. It was a good watch. And uh, now we have two matchups left, and they're both unscheduled. So whoever of them has a preference, whoever wants to go first, I will let them. If they both want to go first, I'll just start for Pinku versus a goalie up because I think Hanlax said something about being last. Pinku can go whenever. Woo? Oh no, 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 no. All right, I, I guess I'll just pull you two up on stream then. And then we'll have uh, Thundax versus Lazy Jeff as the closing set for the evening. What does Golly prefer for their gamer tag? Uh, the link said, oh, you, you're not even on the server, are you? Hang on, let me let me send you the link in Discord DMs. Give me a second. Uh, where are you? That's a good question, Gully. What, what do you uh, prefer for your, disc uh, for your tag on stream? He who presses buttons. <laughs> oh, no. That is very long. I can't fit it in the box. Because I know he goes by Gully. Oh, by MK42 Hustler. I also saw him on, on Steam as Damp Gash Prada, so that's the thing. Um, oh, is it the 5 IK challenge once again? Golly will again, do? All right. I, you might not want to even go for that again. I don't know. I don't know. MK42 Boulder Chids Gamera. Now that's gamering. Almost as good as my XXX Dark Sephira XXX69. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. And it looks like we're getting to see uh, Pinku's Axel. <laughs> All right, we got bets on deck again. Um, Ellie's betting on Pinku getting some IKs here. I uh, I don't know. Gully's not exactly the player I'd expect to get IK'd five times. Right. When he's I mean... running them, okay. I was expecting him to run answer. That would have been hell for Pinku. That's like one one of the least favorite matchups ever. Courtesy of me. Heaven or hell. Do it. Do it. Right, and we're getting into it. Yeah, oh, I, was yeah. to, I was about to say, if Gully runs their main, this would be realistically very, very difficult for Pinku. Yeah. Gully's also really solid on jam. Yeah. That, that's it. I, I've never seen Gully play jam before, so this would be first for me. Oh my goodness! <laughs> okay, tries to go for a tech that there. Piku not teching. He knows what these answer players run. Oh, that's not a good trade. Not against Jam. It's not quite gonna kill, but one more touch will do it. Oh, oh, that's so smart. Piku's not done yet. Ah, uh, but... And Tech GH. And there we go. Okay, okay. Oh, oh, is this what you want? Is this what you want? <laughs> yeah, managed to jump out. Pinku. Trying to throw off the jump 2k. Man, this is kind of tricky because. Jam is that oh. character who's who's notoriously difficult to zone out, and what Axel does, Axel is pretty much all about zoning. 
Mm. Okay, we got people losing losing a game and calling lag. I see you, I see you. <laughs> I respect you it. Have, you have feelings. <laughs> Gotta have the OSs. <laughs> Ooh, nice! The delayed strike of the Ryan. Oh, I can hit on 2S, what? Yo! Pinku! <laughs> the Reeves! Oh, I get getting crossed up. Nice, the back dash is good. Prompting burst from Gully. Yo, that was so patient. I'm not sure if that was supposed to be a 6 heavy or a throw, but it worked yeah, out. Yeah. <laughs> I'm and it's from sure. behind. Holy. Everything hits behind is guilty here. Yeah. Specifically Exode. Oh, jump forward. I D the 6A. Ooh. Being a little cheeky there. Oh, no. No Not shame. <laughs> no shame in checking the gimmicks. Ooh, good anti-air. 6k. Finds the low. Ooh, yeah. Jam DP. The downside is if if you don't have the card, the first active frame is not invulnerable. Yeah, it's, it's not a full reversal. You do get to trade mostly. Alright, ready to throw. And this is completely burst safe. Yeah. It's like... The reason Gully is holding a burst here is that there there is no burst point. You can just pray that Pinku somehow drops the combo. And now now Gully loses when he calls like. <laughs> oh, I I, <laughs> I I hella don't doubt that it is. I just think it's funny how you both only called it once you lost the game. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's when it hits you the most. Oh my god, I can feel it. Mr. Parry, do it again. Strong stuff. Binku has all the meter in the world. Is and that gonna yep. connect? Uh, yep. Yes, indeed. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nice. Good use of 6k this this uh, set. It really hits one of those angles that are kind of traditionally hard for pretty much any character in the game to hit. Oh, there we go. Doesn't get the knockdown out of it. It's probably really difficult in that way. It's... Oh, oh. Presby, something there. I really respect it. Was hunting for the big. Oh, oh. what's. Oh no! What's gonna happen here? Axel dies. That super is so good. That that uh, puffball super. Yeah. Also, it generally tends to be the person who starts the super last has a little bit of an advantage going into yeah. the Inbu War. Oh. Yeah. Command dash through. Pretty much the option there is to hold, sort of just hold your ground and keep holding the stance until Jam comes out of the. Uh, the command dash. It's full screen LPS, I guess, because Jam might as well also region and hit you. But that again gets clicked. Oh. Oh. Alright, a lot of unclean hits. Ooh, that's gonna hit. Gonna do a decent amount of damage as well. Ooh, no side switch. Opting to hold it here. Oh, foul. This might. No. It's... Oh, no, it's not even foul. Wait, what am I talking about? Lots of hits. Wow, that dealt no damage. <laughs> yeah, the guts really coming in play there. Oh! Gold first, though. And with that, Gully taking a 2 1 lead. 
We're reminded that there is no character lock on these, so if either of these two players mm -hmm. let us go ham and switch it up and go rainbow mode, feel free. So technically, no matter how well Pinku does, eventually they'll probably have to face Gully's answer. Well, I don't know how well Gully feels about the matchup. Nice, hits in, in, in the wrong, but also the right direction. Oh. I like that. That was cool, that was cool. Quick one into bar. Don't have to do any tricky stuff, just keep it simple. Whenever you can. Especially if you're rocking a character that is not your... your love, your, your life, your main. Oh, that's so smart. Oh. Combining that instant air dash with the YRC. One of the Ooh. one of the most difficult ways to for Axel to contest you coming in. I I wonder if the YFC messed up the uh, rinse and follow up there. Because I'm I'm pretty sure uh, I think he could have still into that. Yeah, potentially, or or it slowed down the frame so much that it just didn't have time to come out. Oh, hmm. Pink also going for that. Hey, I can do that too. Oh Ow. my god! Another fully charged Ryujin on the board. Now, you can't really whiff buttons here if you are Pinku. Wow, the wait, that was so slow! Yeah, the, the backwards air dash. So weird. Oh, right, because it maintains your momentum, of course. It, it kind of breaks, uh, breaks down horizontal movement on the specials, even when dashing forward. It's really weird. Everything drops on jam. Hey, I feel you. I feel you too. <laughs> Exit players unite in hating <laughs> like weights. Oh no! Yeah, there are a couple of lightweights that are like fairly comfortable to combo. Like, I mean, Biken is pretty decent. Ah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, let go of the blitz too early. He gets punished for it. I, I, I think Pinku actually managed to charge it all the way. Here we go. With that little bit of amount of risk. Boosting up the combo damage. Pinku has so much meter here. What's it gonna be? Oh, try to be super safe. Will it charge oh. Fusion? Don't let... Inversion, not gonna kill just yet. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yes! Sometimes you forget that that's actually a move in Exert because it's definitely not as good as in ACPR anymore. You're not gonna forget if you fight Pinku often. She loves the funny IK setup. However, not gonna happen this set from the looks of it. I'm honestly not seeing it. I'm sorry, Pinku. No money for you this week. Oh, trying to reset. Gets the high tech off just in time. Ah, missing the pickup. Can't afford to drop m too many of those. It's the 5B, a very nice check against the instant air dashes. Oh. Good prediction. Sickles. Oh. That was from so far away. Ooh. Oh. Tech uh. trap. You're fighting an answer player. Ooh, the classic natural blocking the last hits of the uh, the sickle spin. Oh my god, we, we Jam actually clashed with that? That's crazy. Go burst, 100 meter on deck. Oh my goodness, that's gonna be damage. Oh my if he god. gets the conversion to ball. Oh, he doesn't go for the ball. Trying to fish for a tech trap. Oh, all right. Okay, Chris out. No punish. Both players on full bar. Pinku wants at least one, I think. Oh, no! I like the idea, but that was also so dangerous. I think she pressed 2B there. We saw in, um... Uh, was it last week where we saw uh, Gamma versus Looney, I think? Where the, the uh, Venom 2K traded with the Super? That was so weird. 
Uh, Stale didn't drop out per se, but uh, Squid Seemed Guy. Unresponsive. Yes. So, uh, uh, Pinkus matchup was switched to uh, Dolly instead. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> How are these madness reads working? I guess when you when you commit to the to the fun stuff, you're also gonna get good with the fun stuff. <laughs> oh. Um. Uh. I don't know about that one. Oh, nice right. check. I'm surprised the five B from Axel actually catches that. Oh, that should be a hit. Uh, oh. <laughs> Doesn't manage to get leg, pointing into the fire. Oh, the... what doesn't kill? <laughs> it was funky. The back dash there turned into a forward dash and then stuff. All right, good combo to open it up with. Oh, but it's the downside of those. <laughs> Big far-reaching anti-airs, the 2S, the 6K, extremely good at particular angles. Oh, here it goes again. Uh oh. Oop. Interesting. All right. Unblockable? As if... Nope, doesn't go for it. <laughs> doesn't have the time. Oh, I don't know what that was. Oh, but it worked. Be... Yeah. It worked somehow. It's a very comfortable reason to get for Axel, because Axel one of those characters who can actually combo out of their throw. Fancy that for a for a zoner oh. character. Hmm, I've seen this before. It smells like justice. Oh! Oh! That was so tricky. I wouldn't have guessed that was living into a throw. Uh oh! Oh, oh, this is a little too cheeky with the punish attempt there. It eats a lot of damage for it. Ooh, that's so smart! I see it now. That was probably an actual heart commit against, like, parries. Oh, gets TP'd. Think we're now on almost full bar. I can smell the gold uh, IK attempt. Oh, no. Tried to throw the burst there. Press the JH a little too early, loses the game, and goalie wins. 5 to 1. Yeah, your throw. I saw that. I saw the JH get bursted. I'm so sorry. Alright. That's, that's, uh, that's fine. I mean, considering how, how much of a gamer Gali is, not all the. No, not the most surprising outcome for for sure. Yeah, yeah, no. Goldie's really, really strong and consistent. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm sorry, Pigu. You yourself said you are mad rusty on Axel. I feel like your soul would have had a, a better chance. I'm not sure. Anyway. <laughs> no, Pinku, no. <laughs> Damn. Anyway. Better than any amount of money. All right, but the last matchup we have for today. You're here to spoil the fun? I'm so grateful. Thank you. Please keep, please keep doing so. Let's keep doing so. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm so tired. <laughs> the DP is where on the line. <laughs> no. No. What about the Jeff match? You mean the Thundax match that's coming up right now and Jeff's already sitting on the cabin waiting for you? There you go. Thundax in the room in the zone it's been a while since i've seen a 
good Leo match. And this is <laughs> this is gonna be against Sol as well. This is yeah. gonna be a dog fight. A monkey fight even. The unfortunate thing for Leo is that, like, Sol's and Leo's buttons are fairly similar, but... Mm. Fast 5P, kind of things that have a decent, re uh, decent reach as well. The downside is Sol generally has slightly better hitboxes and slightly better startups for, mm. for his buttons, so... The button interruption de interaction definitely goes in Sol's favor. Ow, 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 ow. Yep, and we're going right into it. Oh. <laughs> Tries to feel out the monkey and lazy jet there. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, not quite. Ooh, nice catch. Oh, I think lazy Jeff trying to hunt for that burst. But Thunduck staying tight for now. Oh, hello. Oh. What was that? Hello. The Max is uh, unresponsive. Not sure what this is about. Oh, it's also chunking. We're probably tapping out. I, uh, yeah, okay. What even, what? Yeah, the Max is gone. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> so next decided, you know what, you know what, Elden Ring? Is it too laggy? I I don't think they'd alt F4 if it was too laggy. Right. I, th I think this was more of, they would have also said something in chat by now. Um, hmm. Guess we'll, we'll wait a minute for Funnax to recover. Okay, there he is. I guess... Back at it again. Again we go. Got raided on his side game of Elden Ring, yeah. Me running Elden Ring in the background while I play uh, Yu-Gi-Oh. Are you even a true gamer unless you beat like a hard boss while you're controlling your Leo with the same exact inputs? <laughs> yes, yeah, so these are these are actually the, the controls to fight. Um, uh, shit, I don't know names of any Elden Ring boss. Uh, the, the, the thing, you know. <laughs> the thing of the thing. Ooh! Okay. Oh, that pub would be- <laughs> <laughs> What even? Why would you- Why Del would you go first there? Delicious! Like, why would you to throw that? What? <clears throat> I don't get it. What's going on in these guys' minds? We'll have to see how much mental damage that actually delivers. Enough to get around for now. Oh, okay. I'm surprised Lazy Jeff was able to build back a lot of their burst meter regardless of that soul being stolen. Ah, low profiling. Oh. oh. <laughs> okay, back in the corner you go. Ah, oh, not quite. Oh, that's so good. The Rekka 3 is surprisingly good as a footsie sort of gambit. Oh, here we go, though. Go under? <laughs> no, just six heavy. Oh. This will waste a lot of time. I kinda, yeah, it's all blocking. I, I, I actually like that so much. Mm. That I'm not sure why, what Lazy Jeff would have had to do there to sort of get rid of the stall that that Thundex was playing with that super RC. I, I guess that there was no gap there. So, nothing really. Besides dead angle, I guess, yeah. That's the overhead. Ooh, um... Should a DP during box stun? Missing link? Missing link. Oh, 
Oh. Oh. Not the biggest of punishes, but we'll take that. Ah, oh, the two B at the end. We won't go. be in there. Oh no, misses the conversion. That's so big for Leo. He gets so much pressure off of that. All right, 50 oh. meter down the drain. The lazy chef. The overhead, looking like me. Not discouraged at all. Baiting the DP. No DP in sight. Oh. It's really moments like these when the opponent is a DP character and has more than 50 meter. It's like, to, to bait that reversal DP, you'll yeah. have to make it with completely. And, and, am I even allowed to run any sort of pressure here? Right? Oh, oh but that time they definitely not didn't have the 50 meter. Into the corner you go. The late air dash is good. Haha, <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> I Wait, saw that. It caught the, it caught the gun flame. And yep, but it it's sort it of what happens slow. is it's going to unleash the parry hitbox, and if you're yeah. close enough on your main character, you're gonna get parried. It's like the flinch on Blitz. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, oh, this time it's Thundax who DPS after the 2D. Oh. Once this round, for sure. Okay. Oh, nice. You didn't, you didn't tech. You're going to pay for that. DP? No. Gold Burst. Now what? Oh, I think you do? Thumbax is you dead. You don't have a to block. There's nothing you can do. The Grand Viper was coming. It catches you jumping. You have to block. You don't have a fee. That's chip. Even if you somehow manage to be airborne and air dash over, Lazy Chef can just RC that. Oh. Right this time. Not close enough to oh I like this. It's it's against the back turn stance you sort of have to yo dunk them oh. Big combo It's surprisingly little on Leo, especially on low health. Trying no, to check no, no, knees. No, no. Ah the diving under And our Thundex with so much meter Oh, it just finish his Rekka on the... well... Oh! Yeah. Get it. The, the raw Rekka 3 is actually fairly unpunishable. Like, you'll have to get an IB on that to get really? a relevant punish. Is, yeah, it, is it different from the from the one during the Rekka? I, it... Yeah, I, I think so. It, it's like... Because when you do it from another Rekka, you land super close, but when it's spaced mm. raw like that... Oh, it... yeah, yeah, I get it. Yeah, that makes sense. We can we can space it so it hits a little later and you're at a safer distance. Yeah, that, that, that makes more sense. Yeah. I just know that Leo finishing a Rekka on block is uh Yeah, that's that's gonna be minus punish. Alright, make him fly. <laughs> Waiting for the DP. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Both of these are gonna have to be able to capitalize off of uh they're gonna have to be able to um, contain themselves <laughs> enough to run up and block low. The swag punish using Riot Stamp to read the burst. Ooh, that flash kick is gonna catch the backdash. The constant bane for Thundax has definitely been the the wild ground viper catching during the back turn. Yeah, during back turn or during 5 age. Anything really. And a lot of things that Leo does can be low profile pretty well. Yeah. Should even go uh, under the heavy projectile? Now that I think about it, I think it he does. Heavy, heavy volcanic viper is, is so good for Sol in this matchup because it reaches so far, and Leo obviously has that problem when he's in back turn. You can't block, so reversals that reach far away are fairly annoying for him to deal with. Yeah, and, and H3 really has a really high horizontal range. Oh wow! Sliding under with that Berserker Slash. Oh! Ooh, surprisingly, surprisingly good trade for, for Lazy Jam. Oh, here we go. Get the pressure started. DP out. I hate your pressure. I hate blocking. It's a fighting game. Not a blocking game. Oh no! <laughs> okay. 
Ah, oh, blocks it yes. in the air, doesn't get a punish. That's unfortunate. <clears throat> and with the FD block as well, I think Thundax was not... I think it might have even been minus there. I'm not sure how the frame data goes exactly in that situation. It's it's always so so weird with uh, hitting stuff in the air and and attack levels. Mm. All right, finds the knees. Immediate burst. Momentum barely whiffs the whiffs the air throw. Oh, there you go, and that's that. Pretty solid prediction there from Tundax. Being like, alright, I think you're gonna tech straight into the DP, so let me do that. Yo! Uh, rare footage of the guard point actually being useful, hello? It didn't net a punish, but... Oh no, the dead drop time. again. Damn, this is unfortunate. Well, at, at least they were up around, so... Yeah, we, we, we could say as much, I guess, so... Yeah, get him. Get him. <laughs> Show him. <laughs> tell him, King. Tell him. Alright, we're back. Pog? Are we? Well, okay, somehow. I don't... what? Alright, a riot stamp. Gets in there first. And now... I have so much respect for those DPs. And I mean, for for a good reason. First has been used. Yeah, that's a punish, actually, getting IP. Or wait, is it? I think... No, wait, no, oh. it's... Yeah, 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 it is. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you get the run through. Oh. Now... Leo standing back to in full screen with 50 meter. Ow. No longer a factor. Very close to a kill. Ah, oh, tries to get a tech. Again, at the end there, Tandex was yeah. just standing. I wonder if that was another, like, is, is it like a controller issue or? I wonder. I, I, I know Thundex has connection issues, but I I can't explain my can't explain to myself why they disappeared from the room that one time. And why it's not quitting out of the game now. It has to be an input issue, right? Yeah, you would think. Hmm. Right, readjusting, calibrating. Okay. Till next, back alive. Don't mind, don't mind. We can run it back. Hot no. We just brave in there, point blank with the back turn. I mean, that's also a good strat to sort of just... Oh, nice! The 6 Heavy actually catches the round! The, 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 the Grand Viper. Yo, again, tries to tries to go for the Grand Viper for the low-profile frames, but not having... Just not being able to start up in time to go... To go low. To go... To, to do the low-profile, to do the thing that the... That low profile does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know? For sure. <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. Oh, what? Tries Reading. to go the funkiest burst punish. No burst to be baited, though. Oh, you held forward. That's yep. zero. Trying to beat the bur uh, the Sorry, the DP from Lazy Jeff. I like the Max just kind of standing there and getting out of back turn after considering for a second. Oh, interesting. Chooses to burst here. Oh, but it might work out oh. for Thundax. Uh, despite the two weird side switches, manages to complete the combo. 
Oh my god, he's actually gonna win this. Jetex <laughs> actually first missed the punish, but then still Lazy Jeff landed and probably pressed a button. It was for movement, I swear. It was all for movement. Oh it's an elaborate trap to get more damage out of the counter hit. Oh, okay. Alright. Just want to get locked down in the corner. 2D. Scores a hit. <laughs> Eventually, is the VP gonna come? Not this time! Ooh, reset, alright. We're doubling it up. Ooh, okay. Still finds the hit. Where the RC is at? Where the super is at? Oh, there you go. And suddenly, Lazy Jeff has a. Yo, that was some footsies! And again, the six heavy. Yeah, it's it's gonna swipe the ground. So yeah, unless you're already already <laughs> footsies. <laughs> oh, and the good prediction once again. Stick them to the wall. Take him down. Just wait for him to, to slide down the wall there for a second. Ours. And now, good bye, kid. <laughs> yep, that's fine though. I respect not IKing if it's not to finish the set to kind of keep the uh, uh, the atmosphere going. Okay, even scores now. There's a little bit of uh, unfortunate thingy with the connection. Thundax coming Fight back strong, back. it seems. Okay. Speaking of which, the next, uh, unresponsive. I mean, if there's ever a time to disconnect, it would be now. Yeah, now would be now would be a great time to like disconnect and reconnect, so we have another ten, ten minutes. Um, not sure what this is about. Also, thank you, Exert, for this god got sent feature that the players sometimes just randomly switch positions when you get out of the match. Yeah. It's great. My favorite the, is when the when I'm always player one after after leaving the cabs. It's weird. My number one favorite thing is when I'm IKing people and they sort of like quit out of the lobby because they don't wanna like or quit out of the match because they don't want to watch the IK animation. <laughs> and then it's me who gets kicked off the cabinet. <laughs> Why? I mean, I've never IK'd anyone. No, <laughs> you would never. It was a hypothetical scenario. Yes. I, I hate when I IK people in my head and then... Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Alright, three even. And yeah, I, I expected a dogfight and dogfight it has been. For sure. Oh! Yep. As they say, the first parry is always plus on wave. <laughs> it's plus! You don't get to burst! That's not even how that works. The first parry wouldn't have been so good anyway. Get the second one, it's better. I'm trying to stay in a safe distance oh, <laughs> again. Now, now the second one's really good, but have you heard of the third one? <laughs> I mean that that's the that's the meta. You like even if you see the first parry, you're like, alright, I think he's gonna do the second one, and you wait for it, and then you punish, because then you're ready. Right. Incoming. Carry free. Okay. And low. If parry three is so good, where was parry two? Oh my god, he still recovers out of that 2D in time. I get the DP. However, here's my DP. Sort of. Oh. Nice backdash.
Well, we're getting. I think that 2D. Any DPs. That 2D from. That, that Thundex has been using has probably caught a lot of DP inputs from Lazy Jeff during block strings. Right, Thundax, 100 meter. What are we gonna do? Oh, we're gonna disconnect, aren't we? Uh, yeah. Uh, I think it's, an, it's interesting that uh, I think Jeff has uh, gotten a lot more calm with the DPs. Just because the next is baiting a lot of things with the parries. Can one really say they beat the next? No one could ever beat the next. What is this? What is this? It's desynced? I don't know. If it was desynced, I think we'd still be getting inputs from the next. He will not be conditioned. I never actually realized how much meter Gunflame Faint builds. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. It's, it's a useful taunt, somehow. I, I guess, are we gonna... I guess we're gonna comp this for, for Lazy Jeff. I don't, I don't even know. Are we? Constant tech issue. That's that's fine. That's fine. Yep, he's gone. Yeah, it is what it is. I mean, first time. First time you sort of get a freebie. Second time, it's like. It's it, it's sort of, I guess, to a certain extent, your responsibility to bring yourself with with working gear to public events as well. So. Yeah, I guess so. It's unfortunate. I know Thunex has been uh, dealing with this for yeah. a couple of weeks now, saying that he's pretty much unable to play the game at all. Yeah, unfortunate, and I guess that's that's it. The GGs are called. All right.